Welcome Coffee Holly fam. Today we're going to show you how to descale and clean your Keurig K Duo. Keurig suggests that you clean your Keurig K Duo and descale it every three months. Even if your indicator light for descaling isn't turned on, you can still follow along. All you'll need is either white vinegar or descaling solution and some purified water, as well as a damp cloth for wiping your machine down at the end. Without any further delay, let's prep our machine to get ready to descale it. The first thing that you'll want to do is fill your water reservoir with purified water. Since the K Duo brews a large capacity, we're going to use two bottles of descaling solution. The next thing we're going to do is power on our machine. Let's start by descaling the K-cup side. Select the K-cup button, make sure nothing is in the basket. You're going to select 12 ounces and then you're going to press K to start. Also, be sure that you have a large enough vessel underneath to catch the amount that you're brewing. Now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and add more water to our reservoir so that we don't run the machine dry. Now let's descale the other side. Select the carafe button, press 12, and then K to start. Remember that we're cleaning and not brewing a cup of coffee, so nothing should be in the brew basket, but the brew basket should be in place. This process should take about five minutes to complete. Each time you brew a carafe of coffee, the indicator light for the hot plate turns on. Just press that button once and it'll turn the hot plate off. Now that water and cleaning solution has gone through your Keurig, you're going to want to let that sit for 30 minutes. While you do that, go ahead and rinse and clean the removable parts before replacing them back onto the machine. Using a mild soap, wash the reservoir and rinse it thoroughly before adding more purified water to it. Now it's time to run rinse cycles. Power your machine back on. Let's run a rinse cycle through the carafe side first. Press the carafe button, 12, and K to start. Repeat these steps three times before moving on to the next part. If your machine defaults and automatically turns itself off, go ahead and press that power button. Now we're going to select the K-cup button and then 12 and K to start. Repeat the rinse cycle three more times on the Keurig K-cup side. After completing three rinse cycles on the carafe side as well as three rinse cycles on the K-cup side, you'll want to go ahead and wipe down all of the removable parts and replace them back onto the machine. Well, that completes our video tutorial on how to clean and descale your Keurig K Duo. If you have any questions or own a Keurig K Duo and would love to share your experience with us, please be sure to comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like this and found this tutorial helpful, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Each month we host a contest, so if you want to be a part of that, Go on our website at coffeeholly.com and sign up for our newsletter. Until we brew again.